everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. It's time for some Lakers updates, and of course I have some updates on the playoffs as well. Let's get started. First of all, in my last Laker update video, I let you know that Magic Johnson had stepped down abruptly as the president of the Lakers, and that the number one reason was because they were wanting him to terminate Luke Walton as the head coach. Since that time, Luke Walton and the Lakers have come to a mutual agreement. Obviously that let Luke know that he was going to be let go. And so since that time, Rob Palinka and the Lakers have come to a mutual agreement with Luke Walton and he has stepped down. The news at this point is that Luke Walton is working on an agreement with the Sacramento Kings and that he thinks that he's gonna be going there as the head coach. I really hope that works out for him. He wouldn't have to relocate very far. Obviously, Sacramento is in California as well, so his family would just have to move up north a little ways, but at least they'd be able to remain in California. And I hope that turns out to be a great fit for Luke Walton. As far as the Lakers are concerned, there are multiple people in line right now being interviewed and discussed for the head coach position. Currently, there are eight candidates. The first candidate is Tyron Liu. He was the former head coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers, and he's actually very close to LeBron James. The second person in line is Monty Williams. He's an assistant coach for the Philadelphia 76ers. The third person in line is Jason Kidd, who formerly coached for Brooklyn and Milwaukee, and he actually has a relationship with LeBron James as well from the 2008 Beijing Olympics. They played together. The fourth person in line is Mark Jackson. He currently works for ESPN and ABC as an analyst, and he is a former NBA player. The fifth person in line is Eric Spolstra, who is currently a coach for the Miami Heat. The sixth person in line is Brian Shaw, who is currently an assistant coach for the Lakers and was coaching directly under Luke Walton. The seventh person in line is Juwan Howard. He was a previous teammate with LeBron James. He actually even played some college ball with Rob Palinka. So he has a couple of connections there. Um, he has been coaching since his days as an NBA player. And the eighth person in line for the position of the head coach of the Lakers is Mike Krzyzewski. The Lakers actually went after him and tried to get him to be the head coach back in 2004, but that didn't work out. Mike Krzyzewski is a college coach for Duke. Time will tell and we will see which one of these candidates, if any of them, become the head coach for the Lakers. But don't you worry, as soon as I have any news, I will be sure to let you know. Now, moving on to playoffs. The first playoff game for the Western Conference between the Golden State Warriors and the Clippers took place and the Golden State Warriors won. But there was some excitement in the fourth quarter. Two players, one from each team, were ejected. The players that were ejected were Kevin Durant. You know my love for Kevin Durant, but he was ejected for two technicals. And the second person ejected from the Clippers was Patrick Beverly. Patrick Beverly and Kevin Durant got into it a couple of times throughout the game. Um, it was very interesting because Kevin Durant actually just kind of laughed it off each time, but they got their first technical because they kind of got in each other's faces and continued talking. That was a technical for each team. They moved on, and shortly thereafter, another technical. Both players ejected from the game. One thing that I did learn is that in the playoffs, you can only get seven technicals. If you get more than seven technical fouls, you are out for the rest of the playoffs, not just a game, but the rest of the playoffs. So although two seems really low, this is the first game of the playoffs for both of these teams. So both teams need to be really, really careful especially Kevin Durant, because I cannot have him fouling out of the playoffs. He is an amazing asset to this team. Golden State Warriors have some great, great players, but Kevin Durant is one of the best, along with Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green. There are so many amazing players. Cousins, Igadawa, Livingston, they just have such a solid team. They have such an amazing chance to win the finals this year, but Kevin Durant is going to have to be a little more careful, no more technicals, because these teams 
are going to have to continue playing each other. So Patrick Beverly and Kevin Durant are going to have to continue playing each other and learn how to play without getting technical fouls. Today is Monday, April 15th, and the Clippers play Golden State Warriors again tonight at 7.30. By the time this video is posted, the game will be over, but I am hoping that the Golden State Warriors will pull out a win again because even though the Lakers are my team, they're not in the playoffs. And so like I've told you before, I am now rooting for Golden State Warriors. They are a California team as well as the Clippers, but I really, really love the Golden State Warriors. I love Kevin Durant and it's really, really sad because as much as I want him to come to the Lakers, I just don't see how he can leave this winning team. Golden State Warriors are on fire. They have so many amazing players and they're all still young enough that they're gonna be around for a while. And Kevin Durant, this message goes out directly to you. I would really, really love for you to come to the Lakers in the summer of 2019. I really, really would love for you to. Come on, buddy. But if you don't, I just can't blame you. If you stay with the Golden State Warriors, I mean, that's what any sane person would do because let me tell you guys, oh my gosh. When you watch the Golden State Warriors, they are impressive. They are incredible. They are great. I mean, they make baskets like you wouldn't believe. And speaking of baskets, in this last game, the first game of the playoffs, Golden State Warriors against the Clippers, Steph Curry made enough three-point shots that he is now the leader of all players in playoff history in three-point shots. He just surpassed Ray Allen and LeBron James. So the order went Ray Allen, Steph Curry, LeBron James. However, Steph Curry has just surpassed Ray Allen. But the thing that is so amazing is that Steph Curry did it in 91 games, Ray Allen did it in 171 games. So that should tell you what an amazing player Steph Curry is. There are so many great players on the Golden State Warriors. It's just incredible to watch the talent. So I urge you, even if you aren't a Golden State Warriors fan, check out one of their games. I mean, obviously the Lakers are my team, but Golden State Warriors are my close, close second. You've got to check out one of their games just to watch the talent and how amazing they play together and how they come together as a team. The playoffs just started. We have a lot of games ahead of us and I will give you some updates in my next video as far as all of the standings, any updates as far as the new Lakers head coach. I know we're all excited to learn. I hope it is someone who is going to bring some amazing talent to this team so that they can guide them so that we can be in the playoffs next season. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you come back next time for Lakers updates and playoff updates. Bye.